Livingstone on row five. And last but not least, Dylan Sabatini and Al Giesbrick. We are racing. And we're three wide going into turn one and two. Oh, we've got some good racing going on early on. And look at Roland Bernard go in the back stretch. Roland Bernard jumps up a whole bunch of spots. He's now sitting in fourth. The 31 car leads the way. That's Frank Ilias. Bernard now is in second. From sixth to second, he's making his way up the field. Behind him is the number 17 car of Jesse Giesbrick, followed by the number nine of Matt Zaleski. We got him door to door going into turn number three right now. It's the 27. And the 17. And here comes Wally Butler on the inside on the number nine, Matt Zaleski. The 35W. Oh, we got a car going off the track. Oh, and another spinner on turn one and two. Chris Soren. Not sure what happened there on the corner, just caught the tail end of that accident. We've got a red flag on the Speedway. Hopefully our friends at Big Day Media could have the replay. Always a scary moment when cars get into accidents and sometimes flip and roll over. It looks like the number one car and the number 14 getting into that accident on turn number one, two. Oh, and Big Day Media with the replay. It looks like the one car having a little bit of problems on this one, loses control and cuts off the other drivers and goes into the back, yes. And the 14 car obviously flipping over on his side. It's uh, <laughs> Edward Bell and Chris Sorn in those two vehicles. Chris Zorn was the one that looked like he uh, lost control of his vehicle and cut across from the inside lane all the way out to the outside. And Edward Bell, unfortunately, was the recipient of that bad accident.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, don't forget we've got some great action coming up here at Red River Co-op Speedway. The Teen Challenge. Be part of a story by attending the Impact for the Kingdom Demolition Derby. Get in your car today. Tickets are still available. It's Saturday, September the 8th at 2 p.m. right here at the Speedway. For your tickets, just either check online at www.teenchallenge.tc or call them at 204-949-9484. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have our track championships in just a few weeks. First of all, our Pure Stock Series will be having their track, cha track championship. I do believe it's next week. And then a few weeks later, we're going to have our Pro Racing Series track championship at the end of September. So still plenty of great racing. We're planning on going all the way up until the beginning of October. It's a Saturday race night, the first weekend of October. We'll still be racing here at Red River Co-op Speedway. All right, the uh, pace truck is starting to move in the front, and that means the cars won't be that far behind. There they go. All right, we've got three laps in on this one. Right now, sitting on the pole in this one is the 31 car, Frank Elias. He's going to take the lead, followed by the number two, of Roland Bernard. Started this race in sixth place, he's already worked himself up to second place. The 27 car of Chris Unruh is still in the third place, followed by the number 17 of Jesse Giesbrook, who's fallen back a couple. The nine car of Matt Zaleski started the race in first, he is now sitting in fifth while the 35W of Wally Butler, who started out in eighth spot, is currently sitting in sixth. The 10 of Amber Balkin, she is now in seventh place, followed by the 29 of Dylan Sabatini. The 43 uh, of uh, Robert Livingstone is next, followed by the 13 of Alan Giesbrecht. Those are your top 10 drivers. Chris Soren, though, still continuing to race tonight. He's at the back of the pack in this one. All right, single file restart. Rob Como gives him the green, but the pedal to metal, we are racing. Frank Gillia still in the lead in this one. Roland Bernard looking to find his way into first place and take over first in the point standings. Chris Unruh still in third. And Wally Butler needing to catch up in order to take over and keep up with Roland Bernard. Cars are starting to spread out now on the track, except for the one-two position. Roland Bernard trying to make his way around the 31 of Frank Elias. Can't find any room just yet on the next turn. Does he find a way? No, Elias keeps up on the high side and maintains his position. On the back shoot, Chris Soren making his way up the pack. He started out in last place. He's working his way up, currently sitting in seventh. Roland Bernard still hunting for first. Can't find his way into that position. Dylan Sabatini working his way behind Wally Butler. Can't let Wally Butler get too much of a lead on him. Otherwise, he's going to lose his footing in the point standings. Roland Bernard still looking to find his way around. Can't get any room on the 31. Chris Soren now looking to get his way around. Dylan Sabatini on the inside, and he does on turn four. Chris Soren with some nice moves to sneak past Dylan Sabatini. 
making their way around three and four right now is your leader. The 31 of Frank Ilias followed by the number two of Roland Bernard. Wally Butler making his way up the track. He's in third place now. Can't let Roland Bernard get too far ahead of him. He's past the 27 of Chris Unruh. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at that. Chris Sorens, number one, coming in front of you. Started this out after the yellow in last place. He's worked his way up to fifth. Some great driving in this lightning sprint feature. Our leaders going through lap traffic right now. It's the 31 and the two going back and forth. Roland Bernard getting closer, and then it's Elias finding his way around him. Wally Butler. Finding some room, trying to get closer to his two leaders. Chris Soren now in fourth place. What a great race for Chris Soren. We got one to go, one to go. It's Frank Elias with the lead. Oh, it's, Wall it's Roland Bernard taking the lead on the last lap around turn two. He's got the lead. Frank Elias goes back on the inside. He takes it over. Oh, bumps with the car. As he comes around, Frank Elias regains his lead and wins. Roland Bernard in second place, followed by Wally Butler and Chris Soren. What a great last lap in this feature. Wow, you couldn't ask for better. Back and forth for the lead. Woo! Baby, that's why we come to the racetrack. Thirty-one, Frank Ilias. The girls are laughing at me upstairs because they say I'm a little too excited, but that's okay. It's great racing tonight. The number two of Roland Bernard finished the second. The 35W of Wally Butler. The 01 of Chris Soren. What an amazing race for him. The 27 of Chris Unra finishes up in fifth, and Dylan Sabatini loses a little ground on those leaders. He finishes up in sixth place. That's your.